black people, power, Africans, power, revolution is here with us. We are the future, the current, and the now. The joy of knowing that us as black people have all it takes to create our reality of whatever we desire here on earth, to create the most beautiful of every opportunity that we get and make this world our heaven. And I'm happy because we are currently beginning to see it. You know, like we are seeing the story changing. We are seeing us as Africans rising and telling this African story with realism, with truths, with no focus on negativity and just things that are pulling us down. That's why our thought today and our chicha today is on what is the perspective of the story that you have about Africans, about the black people, and about us as a community as a whole. One of the studies that Africa No Filter did actually showed that Africans themselves have a very bad reputation of writing bad stories about themselves. Are you seeing that changing? It wasn't so much Africans themselves. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was that African media were picking up stories from global media outlets that, that cover the, um, the world, like BBC actually, RFP, AFP, um, Reuters. They were the ones that was covering Africa very well. So if you were sitting in Nigeria reading about Ghana, you wouldn't be reading a story that a Ghanaian wrote. You'd be reading an AFP story, which invariably they cover hard news, event-driven news, right? So invariably it was bad news. So often Africans were reading negative stories about each other and that was problematic because in a continent of over a billion people where our strength is when we are together, we have to know each other. You only build relationships with people that you understand, yeah. right? And I'll just tell you a funny story. Like I think it was in AFCON, like not last year, the year before. I think it was Ghana and Comores played and Comores won. There's a whole bunch of stuff on, on social media. It was like, who's Comores? Where's Comores? We didn't even know there was a country in Africa called Comores. Yeah. That's problematic. Mm. It's hugely problematic. Hi, guys, and welcome back to Desta React. This is a channel where we talk about things that affect us as black people, as Africans. And uh, we try to unite us as, you know, everyone from the Africans, those in Africa, Africans who are diaspora and uh, the Caribbean just for us to create this community that has oneness and today I thought I should bring you with me on my thoughts so every day I do my best I try I've made it now a routine to come out here and take a walk in this beautiful nature and just enjoy the sun because it's crazy when you think about people taking in things like vitamin D just supplement you know and we have been blessed with amazing beautiful sun so I've been trying my best for my improvement of my physical health my mental health take this walk. anyway so uh, every time I'm taking this walk I have these thoughts that come to mind in relation to the work that I do the content that I create and I decided, you know what, I'll be sharing some of these thoughts while I'm on my way back home. Ah, so, buckle up for Desta Thoughts here on Desta Reacts. Today we're going to start with the concept of Africa and how we perceive ourselves and how the story that we tell ourselves is important and it crafts who we are. So, backstory. Recently, I went to this hangout that had people from all walks of life, like Kenyans, Americans, Philippines, basically everyone. There were people from the whole world. And what I found interesting is this Kenyan lady, when she was telling her story, and okay, so, so many people would share out their ideas and perspectives of different places. It was in Kenya, so it was in Africa and they were talking about how in africa there's this there's that or in kenya the experience has been and unfortunately there is aspect of not very good things the sad part is when i would see this kenyan lady i was in a place of observing of observing and this kenyan lady would with so much pride talk about how oh yeah that's how we are here as kenya with almost zero defense perspective and uh, when it comes let's talk about other nations 
Jeez, she would go on and on of even how she knows this songs this music of different nationalities and there's no problem with that <sighs> but for a second it just caught me on how sometimes us as unfortunately black people or even africans we've we've really learned to tell other people's story with so much pride with so much confidence more than more than we tell about our own story an example we would talk about the German machine more than we would talk about the car that is being built in Nigeria by a somebody. You would believe in this company just because they've come to you and they are uh, a foreign company. And that reminds me, I was walking in town and this guy was a marketer. You know how sales and marketing people come to you? And he came to me and he was selling products of skincare. And he was telling me, come, we have an exhibition. Uh, and I'm like, I'm not interested. Then his se second selling point was, these products are from an American. They are actually there, they are showcasing the product. And I was like, huh, how is a white person selling me this product? Okay, fine, I get it. But, okay. But that being a selling point just highlighted this concept that I'm sharing with you guys of the story that we believe about ourselves. Like I wish we had the same confidence in ourselves of come let me sell you this skincare product because it is from Accra, Ghana. You know like the source of shea butter. Uh, come let me sell you, uh, let's talk about Africa. I can show you all this beauty and we can also not downplay other things happening in other places and let's not paint them also as perfect but because we don't believe in ourselves that much or in the story that we've told ourselves as african or even as black people unfortunately then we tend to believe in other people's story more than ours and i'm challenging you to know your story better with so much confidence consume more content that is showing you what you entail you know like what people are achieving what people are doing and all this stuff yeah because basically that's what all other people have done well they are they have told this story and we have believed in it come to think about it like something like the american dream no one who cannot talk about this you know but if we start our african dream ah, can we also take a second and appreciate the fact that nowadays the reality is coming out on what is actually facts like what is actually the reality of these things that we had kept on seeing you know like we are hearing people coming out and talking about the reality of the african dream the american dream and such kind of things but all is not lost i'm very happy to see and to witness the growth of africans believing in themselves people business people are talking about how we should be very proud of our current economy because we are in a growing state and our only way is up. So if no any other time we believe in us, this is the perfect time. Yeah. So I'm just challenging you today to believe in yourself, to, to keep preaching of how amazing we are, even though we have faults here and there. To believe in ourselves way more and just trust in ourselves stop over criticizing ourselves there are people who are already doing that and now my hand is beginning to get tired so that's my thought for today also in the same aspect think about the story that you tell yourself yeah because that story becomes your reality yes africa is amazing and black people, we are great. So this is the story we should now share. And I'm happy to witness it happening. In our next episode, we'll talk about a country that is going through an amazing revolution that I'm proud to witness. So see you again tomorrow. Please subscribe to this channel.